Hello, welcome to Bits in Biology. My name's Liz, and today I'm going to play through a fan-made solo variant for the one to four player game, Harmonies. Harmonies is a tile laying game that was designed by Johan Benvenuto and published by Lillibud in 2024. The fan-made solo variant that I'm going to be playing through is a, it's a campaign mode designed by Peter Schmaller, who goes by the username Lovelace on Board Game Geek, and it is entitled Melodies, a solo campaign for harmonies. Let's go down to the table where I'm pretty much set up for a solo game of harmonies. here we are pretty much set up for a solo game of harmonies and in fact as I said I'm going to be playing through one of the scenarios from this fan made solo campaign for harmonies I'm going to be playing through the first one this was this solo campaign was created by Peter Schmaller who on Board Game Geek goes by the username of Lovelace and so there's pretty much the rules are still the same the only difference is that we are starting with three specific cards. This, this particular scenario is called Air, Land, and Sea, and it's the first one in the series. And our goal is to complete all three of these cards. And in fact, I can't win the solo game without completing all three of these cards. And what's more, we have specific score targets. And so there are three different levels. And uh, for gold, we'd have to get at least 130 points. For silver, 110 points. And for bronze, 90 points. The only modification to the rules is that uh, it says because some scenarios focus on a specific type of token, so in this case it looks like prairie and mountain, you may use the following optional action once per game. After you have drawn the nine tokens, but before you have taken any of them, you can set aside the nine tokens, draw nine more tokens, and distribute them on the three spaces, and then put the nine previous tokens back into the pouch. And so uh, I'll probably forget that, but hopefully if we need to take advantage of that, I will remember. Uh, so I had shuffled up the animal cards and laid out three of them, just like we do in a regular solo game. I'm using side A of the board. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what we're balancing here. I've got two, I've got size three mountains for both of these cards. Why don't I put these next to each other? Oh, but this one wants also prairie. Let's. Let's arrange them like this. <laughs> so we remember these both want field tokens. These both want mountains. I've uh, got one that wants a tree. I do have a card up here that wants a tree. Uh, might be a little crowded. This one wants prairie tokens, but it wants size two mountain, but that's okay. What do we have out here? We've got prairie and oh, we've actually got pretty good, uh, pretty good starting tokens. Um, I wish that. <laughs> I wish they weren't all three great, because two of them are going to go away. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do river and mountains. Um, like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're on our way to fulfilling this. So remember, to complete this solo scenario, I have to fulfill this one three times, this one twice, and this one four times. Oh, I never did put my cubes on these. All right. Next set of tokens. Don't really want that canopy. Don't have a use for it just yet. Oh, but we've got prairie and mountains. I know I keep calling these prairie, but uh, the rule book calls them field. I'll probably bounce back and forth. Um, well, that's not good. I don't like either one of these because they have too much canopy. So let's go here. I'm going to make this a size three mountain. And so that fulfills already this one right here next to a water token. And I can see, um, let's put two prairie here. I think so. And I've already, no, I'll need to put a tree here. So I have fulfilled, oh wait, let's, let's do it this way. Oh, no, oh dear. Let's see. I'm going to 
probably put my river along the edge. Uh, try to put mountains. So I need to fulfill this four times. Um, but one mountain can actually... So actually, if I just have two mountains here and here, that will fulfill all four of those. So if I have two mountains here and here, then I'm going to want each mountain. This one only needs to be fulfilled twice. So let's do that. Or actually, if we do this, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. And then I would put another field here and then two trees, maybe another field here. I hate having the fields be four big because, or no, it's the tree that scores. Yeah, because uh, fields score, if they're two or more, scores five points. So having more than two connected to each other doesn't really do you a lot of good in the scoring of the fields, uh, but it will do us a lot of good. And we have to complete these cards in order to be able to win this scenario. So I already like this solo mode better because it gives me a concrete goal where I'm not so lackadaisical about whether or not I fulfill certain cards. We've got ooh, a bunch of stuff we don't need. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't, I couldn't discard one of these. Let's do that. Let's discard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's discard this one. Because I didn't draw one of those. I could have done it the last time and I didn't do it. Uh, oh, that's not bad. We do need a size three tree here and this puts the cube on the building. So maybe Maybe we do go for that. Uh, so this, we want a river here, which I can put one of these tokens on, or one of these animal cubes on that river. And then we will put this trunk piece right there, because that's uh, for our wolf. And then I'm thinking about fulfilling the squirrel card. I'm not sure I want to draft it yet. But if I'm going to have my tree there, that has three scoring opportunities. We can put, oh no, I wanted to put a tree there as well. We can go here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, these get discarded. What do we have if for cards up here? We've got a macaw. That's really beautiful. I love the artwork in this game. Macaw up there. We've got alpaca. I don't know much about alpacas. I need to learn more about alpacas. Uh, squirrels. Oh, whoops, we don't need more tokens. Um, squirrel. Squirrels are fun to watch. Let's see what we have here. This is pretty good, actually. That one's really good. This one gives us a lot of stuff we need. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do river here, mountain here. So did I want to do another prairie there, I think. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of having more than two prairies next to each other, but I think that's going to be our best bet with this particular card. So, uh, oh, and I actually can take one of these animal cubes and put it on that mountain. And I have now fulfilled this one. Not, I have not fulfilled that one again. Just kidding. Okay, and I haven't fulfilled that one. These get discarded. Do I want to draft? You know what? I am. I'm going to draft this. It might be a mistake because now I'm at my four card limit. But uh, we'll do it anyway. Okay. And we draw a hedgehog. I really I need to learn more about wild hedgehogs. They're so adorable. I had a friend one time uh, who had a pet hedgehog. Absolutely adorable. Tiny little thing. Oh. Hmm. We'll put a tree trunk right there. Now I could use a canopy there. And that's going to be my last, hopefully my last, uh, oh, oh, three scoring opportunities. So I can put another tree here. It doesn't help me with my buildings, but I could put another building here. But the building wouldn't score because it needs to have three different colors around it to score. But that's not terrible. If it could get me up to 15, I didn't put my cubes on that. Well, oh. Worry about that strategy when we get there. Okay, next up. 
Oh, do we want to discard one of these? Probably, yeah, let's discard that one. I, this is probably my favorite picture in this whole, in this whole game. I love this river otter. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. It is just so adorable. Oh, and there's a little river otter there and another one up there. But this guy just dude, makes me smile every time I see that picture. It's just really cute. Okay. Look at all those tree trunks. That's a lot. Ah, here's a canopy in two mountains. Here we have, we don't, oh dear. Oh, but man, those trunks are pretty nice. Maybe we should go for that. I think we need to go for that because we need to get three size three trees. So I know I want one there. And then for this one, I'm probably gonna put it here. Yep, my size three trees. Okay, I need, now I need canopies. I didn't want them earlier. Now I need them. We are well on our way, but we're running out of space. This board fills up so quickly. This game just goes so fast. The uh, solo game especially goes quickly, which is fun. You can play several games back to back. Uh, easy to set up if you just wanted to play one game. Uh, let's see. This one's pretty good, actually. Both of these, both of these are good, but I think I'm going to go for this one and do, whoops, ah, earthquake. That. Do our canopy there, mountain here. All right, let's see where we're sitting. This is now fulfilled one time there. This is now fulfilled one time there. We're still where we were on that one, and we're still where we were on that one. Okay, not doing too bad, but our board is filling up, so. We cannot rest easy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't need any more prairie. Ugh. But we're getting some anyway, so how do we want to do it? Maybe, maybe here, because then I can do building there. How many? I can square that three times. So let's do a building there, even though that's mm, maybe not. Three times, so. That's going to make this building have three colors. This building would not have three colors yet. Oh, but it could. It limits the size of my river, though. That's OK. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I just don't know. Let's build this up to two while we're deciding. Ah, where to put the prairie? That's the question, I guess. Up in the corner, out of the way. OK. Oh, we have fulfilled this one one more time right here. There we go. That's great. Don't need two more trunks. I only need one more trunk. Two buildings isn't bad. River's always good. I like having long rivers. Rivers score really nice when they're long. I don't need any more prairie, so I really don't want that. I mean, I could put another prairie here. Actually, no. Yeah, that would still have three... And this might have three around it. We could put a building up here, and then that would allow that prairie to score. Let's keep an open mind about that. Actually, let's just do that now. Let's do that now. We will put some prairie up here so that now we can score five points up there. We'll put river, and let's do a building up here. Okay. The corners are bad places to put buildings because there's no way that you're getting the five points for the building because it can't have three different colors of token around it. And we do have to remember that we can one time, according to the solo scenario, this is not the official harmonies rules, but according to the official solo scenario, one time if everything out here is just terrible, we can discard all nine of them and replace them. Ooh, I don't need any more prairie. I do need canopy though. Don't really want more mountain right now. You know what? Maybe now, maybe now is the time that I discard all nine of those. I think it is. Okay, so we set these aside. Now this is not official Harmonies rules. This is the fan-made solo variant, solo campaign variant. So far it's already better. I've already got one set of three tiles that look good. 
I've only got four spaces left on my board. The game could end right now, and I won't win because I won't have completed all of my cards. Okay, let's see. I guess. Nope, it won't end right now. But we will put our river there. We'll put a trunk here. Now I really need two canopies. We'll put our mountain here. So let's see where we're at. This one now is complete. We have completed the fish card. So we can turn that over. What about this one? We've completed this one. We can turn that over. The vetiler or the vulture or whatever this is. Mountain habitat, that's the tricky part. Uh, wolves, how are our wolves doing? We still need, we need two canopies in order to win at this scenario because we have to complete that animal card. This one we don't have to complete, but if we complete this one, we will complete that one. Do we want to draft one of these? There's no way to fulfill that one. There's no way to fulfill that one. We could maybe do that one. So let's draft that because we might be able to score something with that one. Okay. Got that one. Nope. Okay. So we have already used our one time discard all the tokens ability. That is one time in the game according to this fan made solo variant. Oh dear. We might not win. Uh-uh, we need two canopies. Okay. Please give me two canopies. Oops, ah, uh, four tokens. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh-oh, this is not good. I think we're not going to win. We're only going to get one canopy. Dang it. We had two canopies in that last batch that I discarded. I shouldn't have discarded them. There's no way to win this. Okay, so I think our best bet is to do this. Make a building here. This lone mountain is not going to score. Uh, we put our canopy here. And my lone mountain that won't score, so it doesn't really matter where I put it. But can I do something that will let me score that? No. Nope. Okay, so I don't score that. What about this one? I can place one of these here, but I never got a canopy for that one. So we don't win this scenario we lose. Uh, but this one gets scored for a third time, so we did score that one. All right, so the game is over because I only have two spaces left on my board. So we've completed three cards, not terrible. Can you see? You can't see all those. Let's see. But according to the fan-made solo scenario rules, uh, we lost because we did not we did not complete our wolf card, which was one of our starting cards. But let's just see how many points we got anyway. I'm curious. I think we did pretty good. And man, I love this landscape. I love looking at this three-dimensional landscape when it's all said and done. Okay, what do we have for trees? Uh, we have two size three trees. This one doesn't score because it doesn't have a canopy. So that is 14 points. Uh, mountains, we have two size three mountains. This mountain doesn't score because it's by itself, so that's another 14 points. And prairies, we have two uh, sets of prairies, so that is 10 points, or five points each. Buildings, I think all three of these buildings score. So this one has three different colors around it, this one has three different colors around it, and this one has four different colors around it. So each of those score, that's 15 points. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six long river. So that's 15 points. Not very good on our river. Now we come over here to the animal cards. We got 10 points on our wolf. We didn't complete it, so we lose the scenario. We got zero points on our macaw. Our squirrel netted us 15 points. We got 11 points on whatever bird that is. And 16 points on our fish. I think it's a mountain trout. So this one is 68 points. And this one's 52 points for a total of 120 points. That's actually really respectable points-wise. So we lost the solo so fan-made solo scenario variant because uh, we did not finish our wolf card. But if we were going by the sun, now this is a little bit funny because we started with three cards, but we didn't draft a card every turn. So I think... I think we're okay. We could have drafted those, but we might not have started with them is the problem. But anyway, if we went with the sun variant, 
We have 120 points, so that is four suns. We use the A side of the board, that gives us another sun, and we use no nature spirits, so that's uh, four, five, six, seven suns. That's actually pretty good. Uh, seven suns, not bad. Uh, but we didn't we didn't win the solo scenario. But I will say I already like this fan made solo uh, campaign variant because it gives you a concrete goal of finishing this these cards, and that is not easy to do. We finished two of the three. We almost finished the wolf. We were just short by a canopy, and I think I made the wrong decision when I decided when to discard the tokens and refresh the token market here maybe that was the wrong time to do that because if i recall correctly i guess i'll see it when i edit this but when i if i recall correctly there was a couple of canopies there and uh, we could have could have gotten canopies for our trees so anyway that is a fan made solo variant where the rules are pretty much the same as for harmonies as they're written in harmonies for the solo game it's just that they've provided these scenarios where you start with a set of three cards and you have particular scores that you're trying to meet now we can't compare ours because we didn't complete all three cards but i can't remember so we didn't hit the gold points, uh, but we did make it to silver. We got 120, and silver points was 110. Uh, we were doing the air, land, and sea. So if you want to do the air, land, and sea scenario and see if you can complete it, let me know in the comments <laughs> um, to see if you can complete it. I'll probably play it again uh, because I like, you know, in, in when whenever there's a solo scenario, I like playing them until I beat them and then move on to the next one. So that's probably what I'll do, but I really like that. That's really neat. So thank you to, uh, what was his name again? Peter, I think. Peter Schmaller. I will put a link in the description to this document here, which is, it's called Melodies, a solo campaign for harmonies. And it is in the files section on Board Game Geek for the harmonies game. Uh, that's where you can find that, but I'll put a link down in the description so you can find it as well. So I would love to see you guys try this and see if you can beat it. And good luck. I hope you do. Let me know what your score is. I hope you make it to gold. Uh, but that is all I have for you for this video. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.